now we will we will come to the last part of the storage study that is called the urethral pressure profilometry i will tell you what it is okay we will tell you what it is urethral pressure profilometry okay now take this picture now we will draw a picture of a bladder this is nothing but the pressure the upp is the pressure inside the urethra during storage phase similar just like similarly when we are previously we are dealing about the pressures inside the bladder now we are going to see the pressure inside the urethra during storage phase that is called urethral pressure profilometry remember we are dealing with the urethral pressure profilometry take this picture this is the bladder okay and here we have our sphincters here we have our sphincters consider this as a female bladder consider this as a female bladder and we always know we have a pressure transducer inside this is the pressure transducer which measures the which measure with through the urethra which is inserted into the bladder okay now take this example now what are we going to do i will tell you what how an upp is being measured upp is being measured okay now what are we going to do here this is the urethral this is the urethral pressure this is the urethral pressure profilometry what happened now we put a transducer inside the bladder and it measures the intravesical at this point at this point this refers to the this refers to the pressure inside the bladder now we see the pressure this is a pressure here okay so now what happens just look at the graphing recordings of the graphic pressure here okay what happens this is the pressure inside the bladder this is equivalent to intravesical pressure so we gradually in in upp what we do during storage phase we gradually withdraw the urethral uh, pressure catheter so what happens at this point when the transducer comes at this comes and lies at this point this will measure the pressure inside the proximal urethra and similarly we will have a recording usually the proximal urethral pressure will be something like this usually the urethral pressure will be slightly more and if we keep on pulling what happens this is the mid urethra here comes the urethral pressure increases and throughout the mid urethra urethral pressure increases and once it passes here it comes down it comes down this is the normal pressure graph what does it mean the mid urethra that is the we always know mid urethra mid the most continent part of a female urethra is at the mid urethra why because mid urethra station is the internal sphincter and we always know during storage this internal sphincters are in a state of contraction remember in state of contraction and the pressure inside is very high so always remember remember the bernoulli's principle the flow always happens from a region of a high pressure to a low pressure i have already discussed in the basic and the very beginning so during storage phase the low pressure voiding inside the bladder the bladder pressure is low and the sphincters are contracting and the urethral pressures are high so usually the urethral pressures are slightly at a higher level compared to a bladder pressure that is during storage that is during storage remember during storage this urethral pre urethral pressure is always more than the intravesical pressure so what happens the flow does not happen because always know the flow is the pressure is high in the urethral pressure and though the pressure will not the, the flow does not happen because when the bladder is at a low storage pressure now remember this picture and let's see what is happening in a patient with an intrinsic spindrick deficiency let's see what is happening we are dealing with the just the same picture i'm going to draw here same picture i'm going to draw see this is the bladder this is the urethra okay this is the region of the mid urethra region of mid urethra and remember this the same thing same picture i'm going to draw here this is the pressure transducer inside and we are going to pull it apart pull it apart what happens we will have the points of correspondingly we have the points what happens to the pressures here remember what happens to our pressures here this is the intravesical pressure as we come along the urethral pressure because the sphincters are relaxed sphincters are relaxing so what happened the, the the tone is lost so the 
the spindric pressures are low the spindric pressures and the urethral pressure are low as as you see here what happens in intrinsic spindric deficiency we are dealing with an intrinsic spindric deficiency where the tone is completely lost so what happens look at the look at the difference between here here the zone of high pressure is in the mid urethra whereas look at here what is happening here what is happening here what is happening in the mid urethra which is supposed to have high pressure is at a low storage pressure so normally the see here the vesicle intra vesicle pressure is more than the urethral pressure so what happens in intrinsic what happens the flow happens from the high pressure to low pressure and urine leak happens in intrinsic spindric deficiency okay now having known this now we will see what is hap what is happening to the urethral pressure profile in a patient with bph in a patient with bph in a male we will see this see the same picture i am drawing here okay and here we have our sphincters and here comes our prostate at the bladder neck here is our prostate which is enlarged and the prostate which is enlarged is here and the enlarged prostate is here and remember again we have our pressure transducer catheter it is coming in this way we are going to pull the catheter in this direction remember we are going to again plot the graph here we are going to plot the graph here we are going to plot a graph here normally normally in what happens this is the intravesical pressure and because the prostate is causing mechanical compression usually the proximal urethra is uh, pressure is equal to the equal to the intravesical pressure but what happens here because of the prostate compression there is a zone of high pressure there is zone of high pressure and here again as the sphincter increases there is again a zone of high pressure there is again a zone of high pressure so this is how so as you see here as you see in this patients there are two zones of high pressures this is at the level of this is at the level of the internal sphincter this is at the level of the prostate okay this is the level of the prostate this is explains why the patient with the uh, bph will have will have poor stream of urine this is especially explained in micturating urethral pressure profile which i will discuss sometime later okay when we are dealing about the voiding phase abnormalities okay now we have discussed the entire filling phase abnormalities now with and there are few parameters which you have to see there are few parameters which you have to see i will explain them one by one i will explain them one by one there is one is called the ucp that is called urethral closure profile urethral closure profile it is it is nothing but always we know the during storage phase the urethral pressure is more than the this is nothing but urethral pressure is obtained by ucp is equal to subtracting the intravesical pressure from the urethral pressure okay that is the difference between that is the what is the amount of pressure which is needed to close the urethra okay it is the obtained by subtracting the intravesical pressure from the urethral pressure is called urethral closure profile and remember here there are few points to note about there are few points to note here okay this is the point of maximum pressure is called the maximal urethral pressure okay and this is the intravesical pressure this is the intravesical pressure intravesical pressure next we have this called mucp maximal urethral closure profile mucp it is nothing but the maximal urethral pressure that is we are we are dealing with this difference we are dealing with difference between these two segments this is the intravesical pressure this is the maximal urethral pressure this difference is called maximal urethral closure profile okay so greater the mucp greater the continence is greater the mucp greater the con that means what the internal spin that is the uh, that is the urinary sphincters are in very good state what does it mean if the mucp is less than 20 it means we are dealing with a very very weak sphincters normally what is the normal maximal urethral closure profile it is usually somewhere between 40 to 60 cm of water important mcq okay mucp is the mucp is the maximum that is the maximal urethral pressure minus intravesical pressure okay this is called mucp 
and there is one thing called that is called the functional profile length functional profile length it is nothing but the length of the urethra which is actually maintaining higher pressure compared to the intravesical pressure that is the length of the urethra which actually is the zone of continence where the pressure difference is greater than the intravesical pressure okay length of the urethra where the length of urethra where urethral pressure is greater than the intravesical pressure okay as you see here the distal part see this picture as you see here this distal part of urethra where the pressure is distal part of urethra where the pressure is though the urethra is extending the pressure is actually lower than the intravesical pressure so by all physiological means this segment is not going to help in continent so this functional urethral profile is usually normally it is around 3 cm so 3 cm and the normal pressure mucp is somewhere between 40 to 60 cm of water 40 to 60 cm of water okay right and based on this we can um, there are few things and if mucp is less than 20 cm of water it means what i have told it is the measure of the spintrix and that means we are dealing with a very weak spintrix in the form of a intrinsic spintrix deficiency intrinsic spintrix deficiency right